Former President Donald Trump is scheduled to be back in a New York City courtroom tomorrow, where he's expected to be the final defense witness in his civil fraud trial. Last night, Trump spoke at the Young Republican Club gala in New York City and seemed to threaten President Biden with legal punishment of some kind if Trump returns to the White House. Let's bring in Kristen Welker. She is, of course, moderator of Meet the Press. Kristen, good morning. Great to see you as always. So you have Donald Trump expected to be in court tomorrow. I think these challengers in the Republican primary probably hoped and thought that all the legal trouble surrounding him might hurt him. But it appears to have had the opposite effect if you look at more polling out this week. So as you talk to these other primary campaigns, what is their hope? What is their strategy for catching Donald Trump? Well, Willie, it's great to be with you as always. You're absolutely right. That was the calculation that Trump's GOP rivals had made, that he would effectively take himself down with these legal challenges that he's facing, these four indictments. But what did we see the exact opposite with each indictment? He's only gotten stronger. He has also skipped all four debates. There was one this week basically underscoring the fact that the GOP race has become a race for second place between Nikki Haley and Governor Ron DeSantis duking it out, trying to make the case that they're the best person to take on Trump. But Willie, in Iowa, former President Trump is nearly 30 points ahead. So they're running out of time to really make a dent here. I think you're going to see the pressure mounting based on my conversations for candidates to start dropping out of the race if they don't have a strong showing in Iowa. I pressed Governor Ron DeSantis on that fact. And he said, look, he's confident he's going to win Iowa. He's now visited all 99 counties, but the stakes of Iowa could not be greater because it's hard to see how they can slow down Trump if he does have a strong showing in the Hawkeye State. Willie. And you're right. The clock is ticking. The votes are coming sooner than most people think. Kristen Welker, thank you so much. We'll look for more this morning on Meet the Press when Kristen is joined by Democratic Senator Chris Murphy of Connecticut and Republican Senator Mitt Romney of Utah. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or Click the link right here.